So it has like this long draping fabric that goes down the centre. Now this one I was actually really surprised and impressed with. If you've seen the Pretty Little Thing version then you know what it's supposed to look like. Like I am absolutely obsessed with this top. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new thanks for clicking and joining me today so today's video is a little bit different i've done a collective haul from boohoo and pretty little thing so i just picked up a few pieces from both websites and i'll be trying them on for you but i'll be inserting a little try on clip at the side today so you can see the item on before we get started everything i try on will be linked in the description box below along with my sizes also please make sure to like comment and subscribe and turn the notifications on so let's get into it so I'm actually going to go ahead and start off with Pretty Little Thing first because I did actually pick up less stuff from Pretty Little Thing than I did Boohoo. I thought for some reason that I got more stuff from Pretty Little Thing but anyway let's get started. So the first item that I've picked up from Pretty Little Thing is actually an accessory. So I've picked up this brown baguette style bag. It's in like this crop print and it has the shoulder strap that just like fills over your shoulder. So I actually really like this one. I love how neutral it is so you can literally go with like so many different outfits and i also love the fact that these like y2k bags are coming back into fashion like i absolutely am obsessed with it so yeah this is the first item from pretty little thing so moving on to the next item i've picked up this black corset top now i actually like this one because it does actually have the boning in it so it does actually keep its like structure and everything but the thing is i've got a top like this already and i thought that it was in the satin fabric and that one's too small now so i picked this one up in a size 12 thinking it was going to be the satin material but it's kind of like a more cotton fabric so it's actually a little bit too big so i'm going to have to send this one back and exchange it for a smaller size but i actually do really like the top itself the back of it does have this like exposed zip detailing which i quite like yeah so it's just a shame that this one is just a little bit too big because i didn't check the fabric to realize that it wasn't satin so this next item is actually going to be a little bit hard to like try and show on camera properly but it is this draped mini skirt so it has like this long draping fabric that goes down the center and the skirt itself is kind of like a ruched fabric but i absolutely love this one and it does have a zip at the back so you can actually get into it without like having to like struggle into it so the skirt itself kind of has like a v-cut waistline and i actually really like that detailing but i didn't take into consideration that because it's got a v-cut and the draping is quite heavy that it would pull the front of the skirt down so i probably should have picked this one up in a size 8 rather than a size 10 but apart from that i actually really like it they also had this one in an orange color which i absolutely love it literally screams summer vacation so i might go back and pick that one up in an orange in the size 8 to stop it from pulling the front of it down so the next item from pretty little thing is this chocolate mesh underwiring midi dress now i absolutely love this one so this one has has ruching detailing going down both sides and on the cup as well and it also has a zip going down the side so you can get into it quite easily what i love about this dress is the fact that it has underwiring because you can't actually wear a bra in this so you do actually get the support that you need built into the dress itself which is literally amazing also what i love about this dress which i didn't know until like it came is the fact that it has a built-in bodysuit so i'm not too sure if you can see from the lighting but the bodysuit is actually built into the seams of the dress so i actually really like that because you don't have to worry about like what to wear underneath it the straps of it are an elastic so that's the only thing about it that you can't adjust the straps if you need it to be but i actually really do like this one and it fits so nicely like i'm obsessed with this dress so now we're moving on to boohoo and the first item i've picked up is this white oversized shirt now i absolutely love this one because it's like business in the front and party in the back sort of vibe so at the front it does just look like a plain white shirt but the back has this opening so i really really like this it adds a little bit of something different to an otherwise simple item so i absolutely love that it also has this tie detailing so you can either leave it at the back or you can bring it around to the front but i think personally for me i will just leave it at the back like this with these opening detailing you'll actually be able to see it a lot better once it's on but i absolutely love this one because it just adds a little bit more to like a basic white oversized shirt also the fabric on it is so amazing it has like that weight to it so it doesn't feel flimsy or cheap or anything so the fabric is really really good quality so 
This is the first item from Boohoo. So the next item from Boohoo is actually a cold set. Now this one I was actually really surprised and impressed with because it came as a set together for like, I think 12 pounds or something like that. I was expecting the fabric and the quality to be like kind of off and like not that good, but I am literally so impressed. So I just take the top off. So the top is ribbed and it's kind of like a racer style crop top. The only thing I would say about the crop top is that it's quite short, but I don't really mind that. I picked this set up in a size medium because it was, I think, extra small small medium to extra large i believe and i love that you can actually like mix and match this as well so i could actually like throw the crop top on with a pair of jeans later if i wanted to or i could wear the joggers with like a white crop top or a hoodie or something else like that and this is what the joggers look like they're literally such good fabric like inside of it is fleecy and it does have that weight to it again so it doesn't feel cheap or anything which i'm not gonna lie i was expecting because as i said it was a set for like 12 pounds they are that oversized look so the legs aren't skinny at all they're kind of like a looser fit and then the bottom of the leg is cuffed as well they did have it in a few other colors as well they did have the basic black white and gray and i think two other colors i believe but i picked this one up because sage green i keep saying in every single video but sage green is my favorite color and i feel like every haul now has to have a sage green piece so this was my sage green outfit for this video this next item is again going to be really awkward to show on camera just holding but if you've seen the pretty little thing version then you know what it's supposed to look like it is this halter neck corset underbus kind of top literally on pretty little thing it is sold out all the time it is going to be easier for you to see on in the try on clip but it has an exposed zip down the back it has the underwiring underneath the cup which i was actually really impressed about because again i wasn't expecting this from boohoo i thought it was just going to be like the fabric with not no underwiring but it is underwired so you do get that support but for a size eight this part was actually really really big so on me it was actually like gaping at the front and i couldn't get away with wearing it so if you are actually like an actual size eight or have smaller boobs it's literally just not going to fit you at all also the fabric on it is really thin so i wasn't really impressed with that either but mm, it's okay it is a nice top i just wish that these straps actually fit like how it's supposed to fit and that the fabric was just a little bit thicker so this one is going to go back and i'm going to wait for the pretty little thing one to come back in stock so this next item i am absolutely obsessed with and i was so excited for it to get here so it is this handkerchief swirly kind of marble top and it's in this satin fabric i was literally obsessed with the color and the design of it so it's a halter neck top which ties around your neck and then it has this open back and then it ties around your waist too and the bottom of it just goes down into like a triangle handkerchief style and it actually really reminds me of like my mom in the 90s like when she was like my age because this is something that my mom would have definitely worn because i just know like my mom in the 90s was literally such a vibe like she was so stylish and everything and i literally could picture her wearing this so when it came and i showed her she was like she had a top similar to this which is so funny because that's the reason why I got it because I would have pictured her wearing something like this. Because it does tie at the back like this, I personally would get really paranoid of someone coming up behind me and like undoing it for some reason. Not that it would happen, but in my head, I'm just thinking, oh my God, that could actually happen. So I would actually tie this one around the front because you won't see it anyway. And the strap is actually long enough for you to bring it around and tie it at the front. Because I was so obsessed with that last top, I couldn't decide which color to get it in. So I actually picked it up in the pink too. And I actually can't decide which one I prefer. Like I can't choose a favorite. Like they both look so nice. So I had to get both of them. I feel like this one definitely makes more of a statement with like the yellow and the blues. Like I am absolutely obsessed with this top. I feel like I would wear it with, you know those like flare leg trousers. So it's like skinny at the top, the jeans, and then it like kind of like flares out. I would wear it with a pair of those and then probably with some chunky platform sandaly heels would look really nice. And then a little mini baguette bag that would look so cute. It would literally be given such Y2K 90s vibes and I would actually picture my mom in it. And as I said, I'm literally obsessed with my mom in the 90s because she was such a vibe and her aesthetic was literally everything. So if my mom would have worn it in the 90s, I'm wearing it now. But these two, I am literally obsessed with. Like, I really can't decide which is my favourite because I love this one because it has like my favourite colour mixed in. But then this one is like really bright and summery and I love that. And I don't actually have anything this bright. Like, I can't choose between the two. I can't pick a favourite. But which one do you guys like? better which one is your favorite because i can't choose
So the last item for today's haul is actually from the Boohoo City Girls collab. So they are these mom jeans in like a mid to light wash. And I actually really like them. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, these are so different. I've never seen like jeans like this before. So I picked them up, but they was out of stock in a size 10. So I picked them up in a size 12, thinking like it would be fine. Because every time I've ordered a size 10 jeans from Boohoo, they are a little bit too tight. So I picked them up in the size 12 thinking, yeah, it would be fine. But these are literally so massive. So I'll just show you. So I was literally sold by this detailing here. I actually thought it was like a binding, but it's like two layers. And I actually really like that. But yeah, it's just way too big. The back doesn't have any pockets either. It's just a darting design. So it does actually look really nice on the bottom. It's just that it's way too big. On me, like the crotch of it was just so long. So I've had to pull it all the way up just so it can like sit semi where it's supposed to. But yeah, that was just on me for picking up the wrong size, thinking it would be fine. But I will put a picture of what the model looked like with them on so you can get like a sense of how they're supposed to fit. Literally the one time I decided to size up in Boohoo jeans because their size 10 is too tight and this is what happens. But yeah, I'll keep a lookout to see if they do restock them in the size 10. So guys, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Again, everything I try on will be linked in the description box below along with my sizes. Before you leave, please also make sure to like, comment and subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss my next upload.